people, how are ya? Welcome back to Awesome Hairstyles channel. I'm Zina and I'm a hair artist and today I'll show you how to incorporate your scars into your hairstyle in a very chic way. So we'll begin with our first scarf, we'll grab a long one and then making it equal for both sides we want to whip some hair out and we want to tie it underneath like I'm showing leaving the ends out no guys I just love silky fabric silk and satin fabric on my hair and how it works as well so it slips out and doesn't hold but for this for extra hold, I would like to use something like this, or dramatic, you know, to hold it. So, you can use on both sides or on one side, or I'll show you how to use a simple one like that. So, it will be secure well our scarf in place from both sides. So we don't have any problems anymore. I look like a pirate with this color, right? Basically, I leave everything in the back so you can see what I'm basically doing. I'm grabbing my scarf, it has to be long. You bring it back, you measure it, okay? And you bring it up and twist it twice. This once, and that's for me twice. Like that. It and bring it backwards, tie it. I just like to open and make more dramatic, you know. Also, I like to accentuate the beauty of my curls. And anyway, I think any hairstyle would better when you have something that frames your face. But that's on my preference. You can choose the way you like it, and you're done. So you can make sure that any scarf that you have at home you can use. So this is basically like a bandana. I'm making a triangle and then I'm just twisting or wrapping. You can tie it in the back as well as in the front, but I want to show you how I'm making in the front. So you can tie it. Sure to not tie your hair like I do because it hurts. Use your finger for that so you can make a nice hole here. So you are tying it and you can leave the ends like that. You can tuck it into the scarf. I hope that you understand why I mean. Why that? I'm grabbing a small hair elastic. And I'm grabbing some hair, not too much of it. Tie it once, then we twist. And all last time, pull your hair halfway through, fluff it up. The ends, wrap it around, tuck it into the elastic underneath, like so. Pull. Make sure your elastic is not showing, like that. For this one, I would like to use a longer scarf. So you're just wrapping and you tie it. You tie it twice. So we'll bring our scarf in the front. We want to twist it twice again and tie it in the back but over our hair you want to leave some hair out and you're done so basically i'll show you how to make babushka style <laughs> so don't worry it will look chic and if you don't know what this means babushka that's a typical Russian grandma. You can write in, in Google so you can see how she looks like. 
but that's a tradition that is appropriate to me so that's funny enough for me I found this kind of vintage looking scarf and I fold it into two making a triangle I am leaving some hair out and by the way to make everything easier I'm making a half half up half down make it really good then you fold it like that but our fold will be inside Ooh. like that and then we'll tie it underneath our ponytail and remove your elastic because we don't need it anymore now you can leave it like that but i feel that it will fall so i'm grabbing my all-time favorite clips and i'll clip it from the both sides so it will look even babushka looking but fancy at the same time like that one side All ponytails you can make any type of ponytail that you like I'll leave again my hair out in the front like I, like I always do and I'll make a middle ponytail but you can make for any type uh, a low or a middle one I think I'll go for a low one simple like that so grab your scarf wrap it around your head first then wrap it underneath like that over your ponytail and under and tie it you can tie it here or lower you can make a bow if you have longer scarf you know? oh this one is nice so you want to tie it like a regular knot you make just one side bow with one your finger so i'll show you one more time you see how easy it is try it it's amazing here i'll show you how to make from your bandana a nice big bow so basically for this i'll make a loose french braid i'll tie the ends using an elastic then you want to grab your bandana fold it in half make a knot and then you want to just look at my fingers you want to make this bow like I'm showing it's better to see than to explain so I will show you one more time make your bow fluffy and big for our elegant bun we'll grab all our hair and we'll tie it using an elastic and last time make sure to pull your hair halfway through fluff it up wrap the ends around then you want to grab your long scarf wrap it underneath like that and then over our bun so you want to wrap it several times and until you run out of your scarf tuck it into the scarf as well the ends and they're done One. so for this tying we'll make a bun I decided so but you can make any other hairstyle for it so I'll use my bobby pins to fix my bun in place then I'll grab my long scarf you want to bring it upwards tie it making a double knot Then you want to grab one of the ends of the knot and make a bun with it as well, tuck it into the bun the ends. Now grabbing your second end you want to wrap it like I'm showing around your bun from the scarf. Also you want to spread this end of the scarf to make a, this high chic headband and you're done.
last one is a cherry on the cake so we'll grab our bandana a big one you want to fold it practically into two and bring the ends on in the front we want to tie it like I'm showing a double knot then grabbing the ends you want to wrap it and tuck it into the knot and you're basically done oh my god finally so this was an amazing workout for my arms I am so curious to know what you think about babushka style and what was your favorite type of tying your hair will you use them if you'd like me to share more type of, of how to incorporate your scarf into everyday hairstyle or just let me know in comments down below and I'll make more but yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video so far if you do encourage me by liking this video also if you're new make sure to subscribe because I make so many videos hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a new hair tutorial love you lots Bye!